What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. Now, unbelievably and unfortunately, Marvel Studios skipping this year's San Diego Comic-Con as we've come super close to all the announcements that's included Disney and the panels they have there. Obviously, no Marvel Studios, except yesterday, Sony taking to Twitter to sort of tease what could be at least the very first look at the upcoming Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage via a tweet. We're going to break down what they tweeted, why it's likely that if not at San Diego Comic-Con, something may be coming down the road very soon for Venom 2 and why we are still just a little far out yet. Anyway, we're going to break it all down, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff, including this insane one-fourth scale XM Studios Beta Ray Bill, as well as we got our hands on another Infinity Saga box set that will be given away at the end of this year. If you want to be entered to win any of the prizes, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video and if you want stick around at the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there so i think it's worth mentioning that officially sony is not at san diego comic-con at home at least at the time of making this video they hadn't announced a presence there there are a lot of studios and panels that are going to be there unfortunately not marvel studios and again no official announcement from sony but yesterday sony pictures uk tweeted out this tweet there's no escaping hashtag venom with the clip which is interesting because a we're so far out from when Venom is supposed to be released, and B, why would they go ahead and tweet this in the middle of when nothing is going on unless something was coming right around the corner, prompting a lot of people to believe this was some sort of teaser that a teaser trailer would be coming very soon and at San Diego Comic-Con at home. But we have to be just a little skeptical here for a couple of reasons, mostly because we are so far out from Venom 2. It's not going to be released for over a year, and I know a lot of people were chomping at the bit to get this teaser trailer way back when we thought we were getting the movie very soon. It would be unlike many studios to go ahead and release anything, albeit a very short teaser trailer which they sort of already gave us which was really just a logo reveal it would be very unlike any studio to go ahead and run a teaser out this early but maybe it's Sony's thinking that with the lack of everything else that's going on right now it would be all eyes on them all attention on this teaser trailer Maybe this would be an excellent way to build hype for the movie. Either way, Tom Hardy hasn't been exactly cryptic on his social media way back in October, tweeting out this photo of him dressed like Tom Holland's Peter Parker, and then real recently tweeting out this photo more than once and then instantly deleting it of Venom chomping down on Spider-Man. And of course, all of the most recent leaks in yesterday's one from Roger Wardell saying that Eddie Brock was actually going to make it into Spider-Man 3 fulfilling every Sony wish to get Venom to cross back over with the MCU. It does, however, feel like a much easier MO and more in line with what Marvel Studios normally does to have Tom Holland's Peter Parker having a cameo in the upcoming Venom 2 rather than Eddie Brock being in the upcoming Spider-Man 3. Unless it's going to be both, they're obviously not mutually exclusive. And if that's the case, it does sort of feel like it would be easier and more likely we're going to see Tom Holland in Venom 2, meaning there might be some sort of teaser for that right around the corner. You guys saw in the Morbius trailer we showed at the beginning of this video, they couldn't help themselves. They had to put Adrian Toomes Vulture in the trailer. They couldn't even save that MCU tie-in reveal for the actual film. It's just like Sony to go ahead and float the cameo for Tom Holland's Peter Parker out there. Well, if they can contractually, and there actually is one. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below, including the possibility of an announcement for a Venom trailer. How hyped does it have you? And will you be watching the San Diego Comic-Con at home like the rest of us we'll definitely be covering it here in the channel in case you miss it so make sure to stay tuned for that and quickly let's get into all the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 700,000 subscriber mark. A lot of you have asked, of course, we're giving away the PlayStation 5, but with the delays to technology and of course the limitations in pre-order, we won't give those away till we have our hands on them. So, in lieu of that not being anytime soon, the PlayStation 4s remain the prize and the next one at the 700,000 subscriber mark. All you have to do to be entered to win, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and that's automatically going to enter you to win all the rest of the prizes here at the channel, like this insane one-fourth scale XM Studios Beta Ray Bill that we're giving away at 750. If you're not familiar with these, these are in no way action figures at almost a full three feet tall. They are immaculately sculpted, museum quality representations of all of your favorite Marvel characters. Obviously, this, the Thor character, Beta Ray Bill. If you want to be entered to win either of the PlayStations, the limited edition XM Studio statue, or 
the next huge giveaway towards the end of the year, which is another Infinity Saga box set. We've given away two here at the channel. We've gotten our hands on a third one, guys. After these sold out in pre-order, as soon as they hit the aftermarket and eBay, the price on these shot up to something ridiculous. We were able to make a deal for one real recently. This will be the last one we give away at the channel unless they somehow come into another, and it'll be at the end of this year during the holiday season towards Christmas, which gives you plenty of time, but if you want to get entered to win any of these prizes, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell with notifications turned on, leave a like and a comment on this video, and because it's truly random, the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of the videos, the same way we're doing it right here. If you've missed any of those previous announcements, no worries, all you have to do is scroll back to the channel, look for the winner announcement and the sub count in the title, click on that video, and scroll to the end. My name's Michael Roman, this is everything always guys thanks so much for checking out the channel and stick around we'll be posting again real real soon